afternoon. So my name is Sanja Steinel and I will present the joint work with my colleagues from University of Mannheim and uh, Polytechnical University in Valencia. So first of all, just quickly to remember what is one of the basic definitions of text simplification. The goal of text simplification is to transform lexically and syntactically complex sentences into their simpler variant while preserving the original meaning. This definition can be slightly changed depending on what is the target population or the target application. So just to have an idea, here is an example of original sentence and uh, automatically simplified output by one of the state-of-the-art um, text simplification system. So as you can see, we can have the changes, like lexical changes, for example, arrived at the house, changed to came to the house. We can have sentence splitting in order to make sentences shorter and therefore easier to understand and to process, and also to have this simpler syntactic structure. So what is the problem nowadays with text simplification? Well, there is not enough parallel data sets for uh, training data-driven text simplification systems. So the largest text simplification data set is for English. Uh, those are 280 um, thousand sentence pairs automatically aligned from English Wikipedia and simple English Wikipedia. And for Spanish and for Portuguese, we have much less training data. So not only that we don't have many text simplification data sets, but each of them have additional problems. So in the case of simple English Wikipedia, we don't have any quality control. There are guidelines how to write simple English Wikipedia, but we are not sure that they are respected when, when the writers uh, make simple English Wikipedia um, articles. And in case of Spanish and Portuguese, this amount of data is not enough to train any automatic text simplification system. So recently uh, appeared Newzella, who simplifies news articles into four different sim uh, simplification levels. So you have always original news text and then three to four different uh, complexity levels. And it offers over 2,000 English news stories and 250 Spanish news stories. It has a good quality control. They have strict guidelines. They're checking the quality of manually done simplification. It is freely available for research purposes upon request, but it is only document aligned. So we wanted to sentence align uh, this New Zella corpus on various uh, text levels because as we have five different complexity levels, you can align sentences from the original text with the first simplification or original text with the simplest level and so on. And that would offer very good training material both for English and for Spanish. We would have good quality control and we would have a wide range of transformations depending on how, how much of simplification was applied. So what we did, we focused on three similarity methods for calculating similarity between sentences. So the first one is the character three gram uh, with log TF IDF weighting. And the other two are based on word embeddings where in, in one of the approaches, we average uh, the, the vectors of all the words in the sentence and the, in the other one, we use all the words in the sentence. And then we couple these three similarity methods with two different alignment st strategies. The first one is the simplest one. We are just choosing the most similar to texts, text snippets or, or sentences. And the other one, um, we use the most similar text but with longest increasing sequence. What it means, we are assuming that the order of information in original and the simplified text is always preserved. And we do this both on sentence and paragraph level because the Newzella text, when you get it document aligned, you also have the division of paragraphs. So we are trying both to align the paragraphs and the sentences. And the software is freely available on GitHub. What we have so far for sentence alignment for text simplification purposes, there is this knuckle paper by Huang and his colleagues uh, where they had um, uh, sentence alignment of English Wikipedia, but it's language dependent. It uses dictionary and it uses syntactic dependencies and only allows for one-to-one -one alignments. 
The state-of-the-art HMM-based method used in Simplex project for Spanish should be language independent, and it has these two hypotheses, that the original order of information is preserved, and that every simple sentence has at least one corresponding original sentence. Our methods are language independent, allow for one-to-one, one-to-n, and n-to-one alignments. They assume the second hypothesis, and they test the first hypothesis. Uh, this is practically here in alignment strategies, whether we use the H1 hypothesis or not. So now to intrinsically evaluate um, we had to make the decision, should we first do the gold standard on Newzella and then automatically evaluate the systems or should we run the systems and then perform the human evaluation? And we tried the first thing and it was very difficult and we had a very bad inter annotator agreement. Um, practically, when you start simplifying from original to simpler and then simpler and simpler and simpler, at the end when you ask people to find the two corresponding sentences in two different texts, it becomes very difficult to say, does this sentence align with this one or with this one, because there is partial match here and there, and then the different uh, annotators will choose different sentences. But on the contrary, when we show them the automatically uh, aligned output and we just ask, are these two sentences similar, and ask them to rate it as no match, partial match, and full match, then we have much better inter-annotator agreement and thus becomes much easier. So we choose the second option. And what we got as a result, so we focused on three different level pairs. So the blue is zero to one, so the first level of simplification. The orange is zero to four, so that is the strongest simplification you can have, the original text and the most simple text. And the gray one are two neighboring levels, but they are the two simplest levels because we assume that it's not the same to align zero to one and three to four because three to, far, three to four undergone much more uh, transformations. And as you see on the right, on the paragraph alignment, when we compare, so we have here our three methods and HMM is state of the art one used in, in Simplex. All our methods outperform the state of the art, especially for these uh, stronger simplified levels and uh, the character trigrams perform the best. When we go to the sentence alignment, we have the similar situation, and we also add another strategy, this C3G2S. It means we are aligning in two steps. We first align the paragraphs, and then within each paragraph, we align the sentences, and that seemed to be the best strategy. Now, to extrinsically evaluate, we built several standard phrase-based S&T models in Moses, to uh, automatically simplify text. As a baseline, we train the models over Wikitix simplification data set that is already existing, and then we add our Newzella sentence align corpus with our best methods, so only neighboring levels or all levels, and also sentence aligned by the state-of-the-art HMM model. And we also compare it with the state-of-the-art automatic text simplification systems which use completely different strategies so there is a syntactic-based machine translation approach by Shu et al. at, at uh, two, uh, 2016 and unsupervised lexical simplification by Glavash and, and me in 2015. And we always use the same tuning data set and the same test set. This is freely available by Shu et al. Um, so the results of, of human evaluation of this automatically simplified output, what we see in terms of number of changes and their correctness, here on the left-hand side, you see that when we add the New Zella sentence aligned by our systems, we get much better um, uh, amount of correct changes. In terms of grammaticality and meaning preservation, it doesn't matter how we align the New Zella and add it, and it also, this syntactic-based machine translation uh, performs similarly. But in terms of relative simplicity, how much the evaluators see the automatically simplified sentences simpler than the original, uh, the both uh, our best methods uh, lead to, to much uh, better results than the rest. So just to conclude, uh, we have this freely available software for sentence and paragraph alignment. Our methods outperform the state of the art. And we show that this automatically uh, align Newzella sentences when we add it to wiki training data set significantly proves 
uh, text simplification based on phrase-based SMT, although phrase-based SMT approach is not the state of the art in text simplification, but adding this good quality data set aligned in this way lead to the best results. Thank you. Just, just a quick question. On uh, slide two, when you were originally presenting the idea that text simplification should preserve the original meaning, um, I'm not sure that the simplified sentence does preserve the original meaning of the original um, because uh, the original doesn't necessarily imply that shots were fired because it's ambiguous. There is a problem, I think, still with simplification that we don't know how to test really whether sentences, the simplified sentences, preserve the original meaning. So I'm wondering if you could say something about that. So that's, that's um, one of the main issues in in-text simplification. You, you're right, because if you want to have the, the heavier simplification you need, obviously you're changing the meaning. You are always going to change a bit the nuances or, or to lose some bit of information. So it, it really depends for who it is. When you simplify for non-native speakers, for example, then you're trying to keep all the information and not to change too much of the meaning. But if you need a strong simplification, like for people with cognitive disabilities, then this is inevitable. And, and it's actually something that we want uh, to do. But the problem is then in evaluation that we don't have really a way to evaluate correctly these things. I was doing this, this way that we introduce here and in, in some of my previous papers, we are trying to allow for, for these kind of changes in, in meaning not to be penalized by, by human annotators in the case that this is the main goal of our text simplification. So we are working on it. <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, actually, the Newsela, I'm Wei Xu from Ohio State University. The Newsela data set was released from our 2015 uh, TACO paper. So, I believe the company actually released the uh, land sentence pair when they uh, send the data to some of the researchers. I'm not sure if you have received the original data actually with aligned sentences from our paper actually, or compared with it at all. Uh, no, so when, when we just follow the link and um, apply for the data, we normally just get a document aligned data set. So um, it was made Yeah, I think at some point, I, I re they re the New Seller company actually, uh, since they're controlling the data release, I believe some people received the different versions. So one of the versions actually have the original sentence alignment from our uh, original TACO paper. And some people, I think currently, if you apply, uh, uh, ask for the data. They actually gave uh, 2,000 articles right now. So I, I believe there are different versions. So I'm just, just curious about it. Yes, unfortunately, there are different versions. And, that's, uh, and also, we cannot release, uh, of course, this sentence alignment ourselves. But that's why we release the software. So you can actually apply then uh, the, the software on any data and any version that you have and control. Because we also uh, give you the similarity metrics and you can then uh, filter out the sentences, uh, sentence pairs as, as you wish and, and use it to any corpus. Uh, just a quick comment. Uh, you can probably send back your aligned data to the New Zealand team. They probably can include that into the release. I think some people re actually receive the data that's based on sentence alignment from our, uh, from our my group. We, we didn't send uh, these automatically aligned sentences, but we just released the software. Yes. 